Welcome. 12, 49 and 15 seconds. It wasn't that long ago that if you had talked about virtual reality or modems or faxes or CD-ROMs, people would have looked at you as if you'd just landed from Mars. But now, technology has invaded every corner of our lives. Used to be if you wanted a phone number, you looked in a Rolodex. Now you can carry around a portable electronic Rolodex. Or have your home computer store phone numbers and even dial the phone for you. If you wanted to find out about, say, Teddy Roosevelt, you used to look in the encyclopedia. Now with CD-ROM on your computer, there's Teddy himself with pictures and words. And a fair deal for every man and every woman. And if you always wrote your appointments down in a book, now there's the Personal Digital Assistant, or PDA, like Apple's Newton. It has a pager to receive data. It gets messages from the office and more. Four times a day, I get daily updates on world news, uh, sports news, uh, entertainment, business news. It recognizes your handwriting. It even sends faxes. Will it go get coffee or, or pick up lunch for you? <laughs> uh, no, but it does have an alarm, and it will, will wake you up actually circle this or if I wanted to go into dates and what about all the changes in home entertainment remember these eight tracks obsolete and for you younger members of the audience this is called a record go to a record store these days can you find any records hmm records you mean the black things with the holes in the middle Actually, they have a few records for dance clubs and mobile DJs, but CDs have just about replaced the record, and they're about to replace cassettes as well. well I would say within the next two years, cassettes be back there with your eight tracks. And now you can get movies on five-inch CDs with features that allow you to select any part of the movie you want. Uh, the Ryan Briefing? Sure. Come on, this is no longer a research project. San Diego is a frequent test market for the very latest in home electronics. More and more manufacturers around the world are coming to San Diego because of the demographics that we have here and just the nature of the market itself. We got a sneak preview of Starsight. It'll come out this fall, an on-screen TV program guide. It gives program listings and summaries. It also lists shows by themes, movies, news, comedies, sports. And if you're a basketball fan, you want to see what's on, what basketball games you're on. Sure. I go to sports. I go down to basketball. And here are all the basketball-related programs. This will eventually be included in some TV sets and VCRs when you buy them. And things we're already familiar with are getting smaller, a three-inch color TV screen, and a combination TV set and VCR that fits in your hand. Of course, we're all familiar with portable cellular phones. You've all seen phones like this. But did you ever think they'd get this small? Camcorders are smaller, and now you can use them with your computers. The computer graphics are overlaid on the live video on the camera. You want a small computer? Well, you've heard of laptops. This is a palm top. A little hard to type on, but it does a lot. Almost anything you can use a regular PC for, other than maybe big graphics programs, you could do on this. And if you think you have the very latest in computers, just wait a little. A computer that you buy today will likely be obsolete six months from now, and there's not a dang thing that you can do about it. Keeping up is hard to do. It's the wave of the future, and San Diego is riding the wave. San Diego is becoming a high-tech and software center. There are close to 200 software development companies here, and virtual reality has become an actual reality. Virtual reality is where you're immersed in a computer-generated environment. Virtual reality was displayed at the San Diego Electronic Show for entertainment value, but it has more practical applications. In architecture, where you could actually walk through buildings before they're built. You can have it in medicine, where you could have virtual surgery. Medical students, for instance, could practice on a virtual patient rather than an actual patient. Kaiser Electro-Optics of Carlsbad makes the headset. Angel Studios of Carlsbad did the animation. Whoa, just slammed into a door. Didn't even hurt. <laughs> San Diego has been a test market for interactive television. Daniel's Cablevision has been offering a service that lets you tell your TV what you want to see at any given moment. News, movie reviews, financial information. It has games you play against other people on the system. 
and you can go shopping or pay your bills. As for home computers, San Diego is one of the most computer literate areas in the country and we see it all here. Multimedia is the hot item now, CD-ROMs like Cinemania, which not only have movie reviews and pictures, but actual scenes from movies like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Would you make a jump like that you didn't have to? I have to and I'm not gonna. It's the sort of thing that you really can't do any other way. You can have a book of movie reviews and a book of movie stills and so on, but to put it all together like this is really unique to to multimedia computing. <laughs> the San Diego Zoo has a CD-ROM. Choose an animal and watch. That's what we're here for, to make their day better. And there are the online services, computer bulletin boards, where you can converse with people you've never met or seen. Now, if you just figured out how to program your VCR, all this technology can be a bit too much. The non-technical person can get overwhelmed. Oh, that happened years ago. That happened years ago. We're overwhelmed by it. The future has arrived. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. In 2001, there was a talking computer named Hal. In 1994, there's a computer that talks to Hal, or anyone else. Welcome to Macintosh. Thank you. The Apple Mac Quadra responds to voice commands or questions. Computer, what time is it? 12.47 and 14 seconds. That's right. Computer, open calculator. If it's all a bit much, some advice from the experts. Learn about computers before you buy one. The wrong thing to do is just go out and buy a computer and then learn about it. You'll learn but you'll learn a lot of things that maybe you didn't want to learn. <laughs> the technology's not getting easier, it's getting more complicated. There is hope, and the power and the things you can do with a computer today are so much better that ultimately it's worth it. And on the horizon, talk of 500 channels on your TV, video movies on demand, information superhighways with everything at your fingertips. Here it comes, ready or not.